Hey Capricorn, so I'm back. Um, this reading is going to be uh, their romantic feelings for you. So we're going to look at your person, uh, what they're thinking about in this moment, um, kind of why they're thinking about that, what's going on, how they feel about you in this connection. So this is going to be general. So only take what resonates with this. Also, free will is at play, so they can always change their mind because I know I change my mind all the time. So we're going to look at that. So this is strictly for those of you who do have a person in mind. It's not a future person. This is someone that you've already dealt with or are currently dealing with. So Capricorn, let's see. What is your person thinking about at this time? What are they going to say to Capricorn? What does Capricorn's person want to say to them? I got chips up here. I was really eating these chips. So what did they want you to know, Capricorn? What does Capricorn's person want you to know? And I don't know. I'm, I'm just going to do six. I feel like that will give us a... What does Capricorn's person want you to know? This person with me too much. Okay. All right. So let me go ahead and get these up here. All right. So it was my fault, but because of my pride, I blamed you. So your person realizes that they're the reason why something didn't work out with you um they may have done something to you but they just never apologized but their internal self their higher self realizes that it was because of their pride and ego excuse me when you're dealing with a masculine and this could also be feminine let me just say person because i know i have some male viewers too um when you're dealing with a person that has pride they'll never admit that they're wrong to other people but they know what they do is wrong um i hid who i was from you for so long so this person was having a false mask they didn't tell you who they were they basically hid a lot of stuff from you um i think that this what i'm getting from this this person was like <laughs> a player they wanted you to see a certain side of them because they altered themselves based on who they're with so because you were someone that was of a higher um energy frequency they had to act that way as well. So that's why it says that they hid from you. They hid who they were from you for so long because over time, people can only keep something up for so long. So I think that you guys started to see the red flags. You started to see the things in them that they were trying to hide. I don't like being without you, but this is for your own good. So some of you are in separation from this person and it's at this person's they're the they're the reason i couldn't think of the word they're the reason there's a separation because they're trying to keep you from something that they've done or that they're hiding from you they this is killing them because it says that they don't like being without you but this is for your own good so capricorn someone is trying to protect you this person that you guys have on your mind is trying to protect you from them which that's kind of crazy that's like very selfless we have untrustworthy and I really feel like this is this person. I don't think that they feel this about you. I feel that they know that they're not trustworthy. They don't trust themselves for being monogamous is what I'm getting. So this person is someone that likes to party. They like to have multiple women, possibly at the same time, multiple men at the same time, whatever. Uh, but yeah, they're, they can't trust themselves. So they know that they cannot be with you at this time because they have to get this taken care of. I'm sorry for taking you and your giving heart for granted. So this is someone that knows that they took you for granted. They basically knew that you're a good person and that they used you. And it doesn't mean that you're weak. I just feel like you are a heart, a good natured person. So this is what they were attracted to. They realized that you were nurturing and caring. And this is probably something this person has never received from anybody, including their own mother or parents. So they knew that they took you for granted. And I'm really feeling like this person uh, regrets some type of decision or something that they made. 
<laughs> but there's definitely separation here. Pride, ego, separation, uh, someone that doesn't trust themselves. And they may have convinced themselves that they can't trust you. Would it be selfish for me to ask you to wait for me? <laughs> so this person is wanting you to wait for them to get whatever this is out of their system. At the bottom, we have, sometimes I wonder if you're better off without me. Oh, that's sad. So this person doesn't even love themselves. They don't. They don't put themselves at a high regard. They have very low self-esteem. Whoever you guys are dealing with has low self-esteem. So it's like they do a lot of stuff. They hide a lot of things. They can't be themselves. They're afraid to be themselves. And I feel like that has something to do with how they were raised. Uh, maybe if they speak out or do something different from their family, they're going to be looked at differently or treated, mistreated. So let's see. What is Capricorn's person thinking and feeling? about this connection okay, I'm thinking and feeling about this connection I'm gonna just get three of these ones oh okay Okay, I'm just going to take all those because they just came out. Wow, six came out anyways. I wasn't even trying to. So we have soulmate here. Yes, this is your soulmate. So if you guys ever felt like you have a deeper connection with this person, it is a soulmate. Um, just keep in mind the soulmates don't always last. Sometimes they're just very passionate um, energies that come together. And it's to teach you a lesson or for them to be taught a lesson. And I kind of feel like a lot of you have taught this person that... There are genuine caring people out there. So aside from what they were raised with or what they went through as adults, I mean, I'm sorry, as kids, why did I say as adults? They're still going through it. Uh, <laughs> but regardless of what they went through as kids, there are people out there that are nurturing and caring. We have make the effort. So great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So this person is wanting to make the effort, put in the effort to maintain this connection. Let your friends help you. So that's the problem I have anyway. <laughs> um, ask for and accept support from others. So this person right now is going around discussing you with people that they are close to. Trying to figure out what where their mindset is. And I don't think this is family. I think it's actually people that support them, like real friends. We have engagement. So your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So your person wants a commitment with you. Even if it's not proposing, if you guys are not at that stage, they want to be committed to you. But they're fighting their untrustworthiness. You're dealing with someone that has been in a mindset and a mind frame for so long of whatever I want, I get. That when you came along and had boundaries and were expecting more from them, they ran to what they knew best, which was this uh, third party uh, player why can I not talk I cannot talk I cannot talk <laughs> so I feel like this person wants to communicate and say stuff but it does not come out right so they may not express themselves correctly so keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations so I really feel like this is them they're not used to and I think I said that earlier they're not used to someone being caring and nurturing so they're used to the hectic karmic type of lifestyle and when you came around they're like no that can't be the person that i'm why do i like them so much this this can't be the person that i'm supposed to be with and it, the thing is is that they're not keeping an open mind about you so they may have set some in not intentions but they may have thought about you in a certain way and that's kind of where they left you if that makes any sense they don't think that you guys mesh well or that you're going to come together well um, codependency so addictions are affecting your romantic life so this person's dealing with some stuff and that's why it says here they were hiding things from you <clears throat> and that they're they don't want to be uh, without you but it's for your own good and I feel like it has a lot to do with their codependency to something or someone at the bottom we have romantic feelings so your feelings are real and worth exploring so this person 
is starting to see that they really have feelings for you and that maybe they should explore. Maybe they should make this go to a higher level of commitment, but something's holding them back. They're still scared. <clears throat> Dang Capricorn. Got someone out here so scared they don't even want to tell you the truth. Look, I see love and I like you. So this is this person definitely does have feelings for you. And I really hate saying that because even for me, when I watch videos or I tell myself this, I'm like, if someone really cares about you, they'll just come out and tell you. But the reality is that some people are fearful. Some people have a lot to lose. And this person may not be strong enough to be able to come forward and lose everything. Family, place to stay. You don't know what they're doing right now. What else does, uh, look, soulmates. <laughs> I just cut the deck and it says soulmates. Soul connection, partnership, agreement, and soul contract. So you guys are definitely connected by soul, by the soul. We have soulmates here that came out twice. They keep replaying things over in their head. What does Capricorn's person want them to know? Or how are they feeling about this connection? What do they want them to know and how are they feeling about this connection? all right so i'm getting that this person self-sabotages sorry i ate a lot of sauce so we have hammer and wow that says sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent and working on it so this person knows that they ruined their relationships point blank period um, this person is starting to realize that they are have a similar habit when it comes to relationships and they're trying to figure out why is this happening. There's finally like that aha moment is coming to them. They're trying to figure out like why do I destroy everything that comes in my, my way. We have lightning, so sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, and transformation. So this was a shock to this person that they actually do have a heart and that they do love. I feel like this person may have convinced themselves before that, oh, I don't love anybody, love don't love me, I'm gonna be a player for life. But re the reality is they're realizing like, damn, I really like this person, I really love them. And they also could be having some situation that just came out of left field for their own self, like with their own life. Um, We have hand of cards, so take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing your hand and gambling. So I'm getting that this person might be playing mind games with you because that's something that has worked for them in the past. And I feel like this person may be um, realizing they need to take a risk, show their hand, show you their emotion, talk to you about it, um, because if not, they're possibly going to lose out on something great. We have the chaser here. So chaser in codependent relationship, fear of abandonment issues. So what I'm getting with this one, I feel like this person was chasing someone else or something else because we have codependent here twice. So this person was relying on something else and that's what they put their attention and their effort into. They didn't put it into you because they needed something from someone else or something else, whether it be a person or substance use, alcohol, legal drugs, whatever. This person was chasing something that was no good for them. Um, we have cameras, so reminiscing, keepsake, perception, learn from the past, and make memories. So like I said, this person is realizing that he, I say he, <laughs> that they have been, I try to keep it neutral for everyone. This person is realizing that they have been a bad person when it comes to relationships. They don't last long. Their relationships, they're seeing the past. They're reminiscing on how you treated them and they're comparing you to other people and realizing that you never meant them any harm. We have not today, so not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call, person, boundaries, and still angry. So they're not reaching out to you because they feel like you're mad at them. They are they feel like you're angry with them, you're mad um, that you're not going to want to talk to them and you may reject them. And that's something that they are fearful of. At the bottom, we have kisses, so unconditionally loving, giving, and receiving affection, and falling in love. So I said before that your person is falling in love. This is something that they have tried to block out of their mind or convince themselves that they would never feel this way, and they're feeling this way with you. <clears throat> so what else does Capricorn's person want to let them know? 
And yes, everybody, I did get Miss Cleo, okay? I did get Miss Cleo <laughs> the cards because they were cheap. I mean, tarot cards are expensive. I heard another reader say that. I forgot who. Yeah, but tarot cards are extremely expensive. So if I could find some on Amazon that are cheap, it's going to make things a lot better. Look, we have eight of staffs here. So your person wants to communicate with you about we have the empress in reverse so this could actually be them feeling like you don't love them anymore and that you don't care what happens to them or what's going on or they could be dealing with someone who they thought was a child's mother maybe they thought they had someone pregnant maybe they thought that they were going to be a parent and realized that or found out that this person was not their child Hey Capricorn, I'm sorry, I got cut off because my mom just called me, I had to put on airplane mode. All right, so we were left off and I said something that didn't make sense because <laughs> I said something about a baby or something, but I left off at us looking at this. So yeah, Miss Cleo cards, they were on sale. So we're going to look at what your person is feeling right now. That's where it was. And it's funny because it pulled out right exactly at the same spot that I left off, which is crazy. Um, so with this eight of staffs, and it was actually this way, um, someone wants to communicate something to you. Um, with this empress in reverse, they could be fearful that you don't care anymore and that you're not going to be nurturing and open to receiving their message. Or it could be that they thought they want to tell you that they thought someone was pregnant and it turned out that it wasn't their child or that they were not the father. So that's something that I feel like this person may want to actually tell you. So let's look and see what does Capricorn's person want to tell them? Oops. What does Capricorn's person want to tell them? What do they want them to know? What does Capricorn's person want them to know? Right now? Capricorn's person want them to know. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so we have the five of staffs in reverse. So with this card here, um, your person does not want to communicate with you right now because they feel like there will be some type of argument. And that goes with this not today. It said something about ang still angry. So your person feels like that you're angry with them about something and they may be afraid to communicate because they want to keep the peace. That's what this looks like in reverse. Um, we also have the high priestess in reverse. So a lot of you already know what this situation is. So if you think about, think back to what's going on with your connection, you already know what's going on. And maybe your person even knows that you know what go, what's going on. So things have been revealed to you unbeknownst to your person or known to your person. Um, we have a page of coins here. So it's like this person wants to offer you something, but they're not um, mature enough to understand how to handle it. So they're not understanding how to handle a mature relationship. They've always had karmic relationships or relationships where people were just ugly, like ugly spirited. And I'm not talking about looks, I'm talking about your spirit. These were people that were just uh, low vibration all through and through. So this person doesn't even know how to hold on to what your connection is. They don't even know how to handle it. We have the four of swords here. So I feel like this person is really stuck on this idea of you. I love these cards. They're stuck on this idea of you. It's kind of like they've had options or they may have discussed things or talked to certain people a certain way. Maybe this person's had three real relationships in their life. And it's like when it comes to you, they're just so conflicted. So it's like they go to sleep and they wonder if they feel the same way. And I feel like every time this person goes to sleep, you're always on their mind. There's always something they want to communicate to you. And it's like they can't get you out of their head. We have judgment here. So your person is under judgment. They're trying to decide and make decisions that are going to better their life. It's like they're going to ascending actually because um, this person's going up the steps. They're ascending to a higher level of thinking and then we have the three of swords 
This person is heartbroken and hurt without you in their life. And they've dealt with so much pain in their past as well. And it's like they're in their own emotions. They're not getting out of their own way. This is sad. <clears throat> what else does this Capricorn's person want them to know? Wait, there goes that Empress again. So they want you to know that they think of you as an Empress. Someone that's very nurturing, loving, caring, beautiful, on top of your stuff. Open to listening and talking with them. Uh, four of coins, they want to hold on to you. Like they really see your value. And <laughs> we have the eight of staffs in reverse again. Or the first time it was in the upright, but it's in reverse. So this person is not communicating this to you. They don't see that there's a rush to do it. Even though they want to talk, they want to hold on to this connection. I really feel like they have a lot of healing that they have to do. They're just now starting their spiritual awakening. And I feel like they have a long road ahead of them. Why is a Capricorn person not talking to them? Dang, it's just, these kind of are weird. <laughs> so we have Ace of Staffs in reverse, Ace of Wands. So this person is feeling um, less than, like they're not even feeling sexual. They can't even drown in their own sorrows <laughs> with this. Because I kind of feel like with this and the Three of Cups right after, this person would always try to fix how they felt about you and doing you wrong by going to other people. But right now, they don't have a passion to really do much with this um, Ace of Staffs in reverse. Then we have this Three of Cups. So it's like they may go and party with their friends, but it's like they're not there. It's like they have an outer body experience. They're there, but they're not there. And then we have this Nine of Cups. They just want to relax. They want to enjoy life. Um, some of them probably are drinking too much as well. I know it doesn't really say that in this because this one shows a happy person and they have trophies. So it's kind of like this person is convincing themselves that, hey, I have a lot of options. Or I have a lot of people that care about me, but they're missing your cup, which is the 10th cup, which will be the 10 of cups, wish fulfillment. So it's like they have all this other stuff that they keep trying to convince themselves that that's all they need, but they're actually missing you. And then look, we have the Knight of Cups here. So they want to offer you some, they want to offer you that missing, <laughs> that missing cup from that 10. They want to offer that to you, but it's like they have to travel to get to you. So this person could also be at a distance from you, but they also are afraid to show their emotion because this water is running through and it's like this person is trying not to touch that water they're wanting you to come to them in this in this tarot deck they're wanting you to come grab this this cup <clears throat> at the bottom we have the tower in reverse so i feel like this person is trying to get their life back in order after something um transpired and this right here, I feel with this tower, it's kind of different because these people are willing to sacrifice themselves to get something. And then in the reverse, I kind of feel like this person is afraid to move on from a situation that is no good for them. We have the page of cups in reverse. So this person does not want surprises. So I feel like this is the type of person that needs to, uh, what's that called? They need to plan for things and something is keeping them where they're at. And look, we have the chariot in reverse and the devil card right after that. So their addiction, it goes back to that addiction. This person's addicted to something. I don't know if it's drugs, alcohol, or sex, even though the ace of wands was in the reverse, but there's something that this person is hiding from you that you may not even know. But for these two cards to be there, it's like they're trying to move on. But it's hard for them to get out of a situation. And look, the moon card's here. Back to that hiding things. It's like this person tries to avoid confronting the thing that is causing problems. Not seeing that if they continue this behavior, they're going to get caught. Or something bad is going to happen. Yeah, so they can't offer you love right now. With this Ace of Cups in reverse. And the Two of Cups in reverse. Wow. Wow. So they're just hoping that you don't leave them. All right, Capricorn, this is sad. So this was your uh, 
what do they feel about you reading so if you guys like that let me know i'll catch you guys in the next video